So what is happening in the front offices of the PGA Tour right now, Kevin? I think, uh, I mean, I think that there's a little bit of a panic probably going on. There's certainly some, you know, worry that uh, they're going to lose more people. I, I think you have to understand, Rich, like the PGA Tour benefited a long, long time from being set up as a nonprofit. It, it essentially allowed them to pay, like, to duck out on essentially $200 million in taxes. ESPN, Paul Levine did a story about this, you know, it's almost 10 years ago, so it probably would work out to be like three, four hundred million now. But that setting up as a, a nonprofit means that they cannot like give money directly to the players just for sort of showing up. And it is sort of like come home to roost and then it hamstrings them a little bit because a lot of athletes in every single sport they want guaranteed money and who can blame them like injury or performance. Like if you're, you play poorly one year in golf, you know, you're not going to get paid a lot of money. And so the PJ tour just simply cannot buy legal rules, hand over money to people. They have to sort of invent reasons like, Oh, this is for the, you know, the, the player performance thing this is what drives fan interest. What's referred to as the PIP. So they gave Phil $8 million last year for driving fan interest and tiger $10 million for, you know, being one of the most Google recognizable athletes, even though he didn't hit a single shot on the PGA Tour. All of those things still pale in comparison to the $200 million that, you know, the the public investment fund that Live Golf people can give someone like Phil or Dustin or Bryson. And so I don't really know exactly what the answer is going to be for the PGA Tour. They can't, I think, forever rely on sort of the loyalty or the morality of people like Justin Thomas or Roy McIlroy, who both come out strongly against joining live because that's not going to last forever. Like money sort of always talks in every professional sport and oil money dominates the world. And I think that what we're seeing is that it makes sense. It would eventually kind of come for sports. Like it, people were kind of aghast when it came for premier league soccer and F1 and now it's coming for golf. Well, I mean the, the concept of the tour card, Kevin, um, Dustin Johnson flat out said, I'm resigning. I'm out. Uh, Phil said, why would I give it up? I spent so much time in my entire career to get what I got. I'm not giving it up. I'll play in the majors. Um, and, uh, and then there's the issue of whether he's serving out a PGA Tour suspension. He demurred on that saying, I'm not talking about tour issues. And then <laughs> directly responded to a question about whether he's given up his card or not. So what, what, what is the tour potentially going to just play this out, hope that there are some young stars that everybody's going to want to see to supplement the guys who they're not going to allow to come on? Will they eventually allow them to play in some of these events if they're past winners, top 10 winners? I mean, like what, what wiggle room might they have here, do you think? Yeah, it's a, it's a really tough question in part because, like, if you're Dustin Johnson, let's say Dustin Johnson hadn't resigned his PGA Tour card. Mm-hmm and he wanted to play in the Valspar or the Arnold Palmer or some tournament. If you're the tournament, if you're the tournament committee chairman of the Valspar or the Arnold Palmer and Dustin Johnson wants to play in your tournament, how, how do you sort of be okay with the PGA tour saying, no, no, like that. We know that might help your gate. It might help your sort of, you know, the amount of money that you can donate to charity, but we're going to hold firm on this and he's not going to you know, be allowed to go. It's going to be a tough position for them. I mean, I think they have to kind of, stand with what they sort of said their punishments were going to be because they've made a big talk and and several times spoke to all the players and said, if you do this, you'll be subject to discipline. You're going to be suspended. I think it would be kind of ridiculous to think that Phil hasn't been suspended on some level. Like, why would you not say like, Oh yeah, no, I haven't been suspended. I have, or I haven't had that conversation, but like, it's pretty clear that setting up, trying to set up a rival tour and giving them documents, allowing your lawyers to draft some of that legal language is kind of grounds for, for suspension, uh, even as an independent contractor uh, of a particular tour. So I think that it's, there's a very good chance that this becomes a legal issue, that it goes to court, that, it's, that we have a court case that could go to district court of the Supreme Court of Nicholson versus the PGA Tour. Mm. And I think in part, Phil probably would – not mind that kind of uh, fight. He doesn't, I think, like have outright animosity towards the PJ Tour. He feels on some level like it has allowed him to live a pretty 
amazing life and that he's but he's also kind of quick to sort of say i've given a lot to the tour i've kind of helped given a lot of value over the years and he's right like nobody besides him besides tiger has won almost 50 years i think he's run 47 times uh that's an amazing number for a professional golfer and i think that we are going to sort of if he says you know basically hey i'm going to fight this I'm not going to be like Justin Johnson and just say I'm I'm good with it. I want my place back on tour. I earned that. It's going to get interesting, and it will get interesting because I think we've seen in a lot of you know court cases that you know there are legal issues, sure, but like it often kind of can come down to what political appointees have, are sort of of certain judges, right? Like there's a lot of politics that are messing with this. Like Jared Kushner is a close friend of. The people who are running this tour, Ari Fleischer is out there working as the MC of this uh, these press conferences. Like, there's a lot of, you know, uh, politics swimming about in this. And so, if you've got political appointee judges who don't love the, the PJ Tour because, you know, they've been sort of steered down that road by certain people, then that's going to get really interesting and complicated, isn't it? Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.